Hey guys, my name is Maxi, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down a thought process on how to pop off and ranked as a duelist. Chamber was A, I believe. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, you're nasty, dude. <laughs> if you want my credentials, I've hit Radiant every act that I've played in, I've finished in the top 100 as a duelist main, and in the same note, I've coached people to hitting Radiant also. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you can, and enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> so, we're starting off in the ace that I got on Haven. That's you! We're winning 5-1, to one, so the enemy team is probably desperate for a round. So going off that, you'll notice that they have a Killjoy ultimate. So since A short is the best place to use that ultimate, I plan on contesting it, but not before setting up a backup plan and getting my teammate to support me here, just in case they full send it, or if I whiff a shot and I gotta fall back, this guy can be right there in that A short side just backing me up. After I get those two little twerps, I don't see these guys having the cojones to run into my op anymore, so I push the flank to establish my dominance as a jet main. Both of them are. I'm in wasn't grouch. <laughs> wow. Wait, that's perfect. Can we uh smoke bottom mid skis like right here, here and then can here. we dart bottom mid? Here. Like, you put your turret right here for cat. I want to just get like mid control. Yeah. Here's a round where I win the round with a hectic 4k. And it all stemmed from us having mid control. With the smoke and the dart clearing bottom mid, the only thing that I have to worry about is this cat peek. So I give it a second and peek with the turrets up and running to give the guy cat two targets to worry about. Cat dead is Savant and he's fat compared to me. So after some coping and some god awful trash talking was done, my teammate gets traded from the guy on cat who gets the op. I still have my jet dash in my pocket, so I just plan on going sicko mode on the omen because he's pretty much just like a sitting duck with an operator in his hand. So the omen gets away, and we have information that the reign of push A because you gotta pick on one of my teammates. So I'm right here in updrafting, trying to get some weird angles, trying to see if he's hell, just holding for the heaven overextend. Just trying to hold for a mistake for a second. What does his omen go? I don't know, but someone's gonna be oh, aiming. There's two angles right here that we gotta worry about, so our best bet is to fight one of the angles, and I do. But this Reyna is ready, and he plays it safe. So since he's not giving, I hold for his teammates that should be on the way to help, and that's where they give. Nice. I'm joining, I'm joining. Oh my! Fuck my drone, I guess. Two lane. The stage is probably up on our wall. Like, I don't know, she didn't run out. This was a wonderful call from my friend Louie here. He made it clear to the team that there's still one guy who hasn't been accounted for. So after thoroughly clearing all my angles, it made it easy for me to be aware of this B main peak just to make sure this guy doesn't lurk out on us. Oh, you're better. Maxi. This smoke gets tossed here to cause what I like to call crosshair corruption. I really wanted to try that effect, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Anyways, the smoke allows for you guys to have more space to work with when entering the site. You can entry like I did and go out further down the lane, or you can jump down and try to take out the guys who are close. Look how annoying the smoke is for the guy who's close. He's gotta swing his crosshair wide if somebody jumps through. And if he's still holding wide when the smoke drops, he's gotta swing it all the way back towards lane, effectively making him a sitting duck. Look at all the other angles that it disrupts also. You gotta make these guys work for the frags and the trades. So use your util to be a menace and I promise you're gonna be fragging out like crazy. The rest of the clip is just me kinda owning, so just wanted to flex. Oh. Maybe a, f a B hit right here, just a heavy B hit and then we bring Yeah, you wanna towards... explode on him or what? Yeah, we can. A little reach around. We can just explode all over him. Mm -hmm. Oh, go into detail. We might Sorry. be just fucking sky here. flash here, brimmel to like hell right here. Just fucking And then really just, just explode on him. Just, yeah. just reclaim back yeah. to finish. Alright, ready? Then we start going. Ah, oh, shit, I can't kids. flash. I'm going dry. I'm going dry. I'm going dry. Here's a pretty juicy whip, but I make sure not to panic, and it leads me to a 4k later. Okay, one second, one second. You're, you're on your own. Fine. Oh, 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 I got you, babe. Come here. Oh my god. Right, go Give me, babe. Here's another example of how you can play around your smoke to create new off angles and entry points to not only cause crosshair corruption, but to be like a decoy that makes it easier for your teammates to scale in behind you. Kills are a bonus when you're going in first as Jet. Your real job is to create space. When you dash out, the threat of two different angles is more than enough for an impact. So just make sure you're not too overzealous and try to pull off like a 10 stream highlight clip. The kills will come eventually, so relax. Uh. Limits, follow me up. I want you to dog here. this left side right here, this connector side. Wow, Tori, can you hold the right side, the art peak? 
Yep. Do you want to, do you want me to smoke anything? Yeah, smoke the left side. The plan is to run up this connector side and clear some space while my teammate holds his right side and make sure I don't get bopped in the side of the head. I make sure to stay glued to the dog so no matter what, like if somebody peeks us, it's going to be like a two-on-one situation. He made some mistakes making some loud footsteps while trying to reposition. That's like a dinner bell for me. I keep my crosser ready just in case if somebody's going to trade from this art area, even though my teammate's calling that I'm getting flanked. I turn around and get this pick on Killjoy when I can't put off that angle any longer. After that, I regroup with my teammates who are pushing up towards this A-short area, just the entry for them. I know this rain is really close, so I give myself a smoke to give us some space to play around with the angles. I got really lucky my sky threw a good flash, because if this rain wasn't full blind, I would have been dead a long time ago. The last time we saw this sky guy, he was opping in this flower area. So I updraft on top of this box, and I'm just praying he makes my day and peeks into me. I want the A's for the Twitter clip, and so after I got healed, I have all the confidence in the world. He threw the op away, and it's a free ace. Can we just pick B aggro? This ace shows how important positioning is and how getting map control can open up the possibilities for different angles and spots for you to play in. As you just heard me in game, I plan on contesting B main early and shortly after explain my reasoning as to why I want to do it. <clears throat> I like getting B main control. There are a couple off of orbs. Here, can you stun it off rip? Joke, you smoke it. So what I really meant is that these guys have been farming the orbs every round and we're getting really close to their ultimate. And I didn't want them to have their way, so with the help of my Breach and the Omen, we're contesting B main to force them through some hurdles if they want to win the round. If you notice, this Killjoy had a turret facing the entrance of B main, so if we don't break it, that's a lot of information that they have for free. I'm just yeah, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you have this. I'm gonna go help mid. They're gonna be forced to try to yeah, retake that, it's just Killjoy. Can there already be rogue side? Yeah, they oh, they're already, yeah, already yeah, heavy yeah, up ropes. They're, they're, uh, yeah, I'm pushing through, I'm pushing through. They're hitting, they're hitting. Oh, Raze is watching Grounded. for the flank. My ult's ready. Nailed them. Nice. Positioning was a key here. I held a dubious off angle and capitalized off the fact that they have to go through like this mental checklist when entering site. The second that they extend past this invisible line, their habits and their good cross replacement force them to have to check hell in this corner. And since I have no worry about being flanked from B main since my teammate has control of it, I get the easiest two picks of my life. Mm -hmm. Killjoy was here. B main though, watch out. Yeah, Ash right here. Enemy Since my teammates calm that two of their players are there, and I watch this raise nade fly out of B main, that instantly tells me where the rest of their team is. I instantly try to help my breach, but sadly he's untradeable. But I see an opportunity to sneak into a cheeky spot that they might not clear because since the last time that they saw me was towards heaven, so they might not expect it. She's getting the orb, they're faking. You got it this time. Skins left. They're throwing orbs over here. Bomb. After I get the pick, I smoke myself off to make it harder for them to trade me since they don't have much time to work with. I end up using my smokes to reposition, and I see my teammate fighting, so I swing since that's my cue to go help. Two people swinging is way harder to deal with than just one person swinging you. Right. Yes, sir! I'm back on the board, yes, baby! Let's go. Oh, fucking Audrey. Let's go. Bro, fuck this. 